What's up everybody? Welcome back to the United Tunes with myself, CM, and my bro over there, Cappy. Big up yourself. Listen everybody, if you appreciate the work, see, and I know this episode is coming a little later than usual. That's why I'm going to touch a little bit on the Villa right out game and what's transpired in the latest few games. And Cappy's going to talk about the Chelsea game and how peak it's going to be. Because they're in red hot form. Actually, I don't know. I'm trying to be optimistic, but I'm just a realist. He's the optimist over there. You never know. Is he even going to talk about it? Because I know he's bursting to say something else. He's, bur he's been bursting to have an outbreak since everything's happened but yeah man big up the editor he's been working hard i can't lie so we can't we can't blame him we can't blame him also drop a like for hard work determination and, and drop a like and subscribe for elevation that all rhymes anyways listen <laughs> Oh boy, about the game on Tuesday, I was feeling worried going into it because we just had got rid of a manager. Then in desperation, <laughs> realised we had to keep somebody because we had the game in a few days. <sighs> Same old poor preparation, lack of planning and all that stuff. It's almost incredible how things have progressed in the last few days because I saw something say that Carrick was destined to be in charge for at least six games. No offence, but Chelsea next obviously is going to be in charge of that one. Then Arsenal. Palace, who will be a tricky opponent. I know they're still Villa today, but they're going to be a tricky opponent, Crystal Palace. And then Young Boys and Norwich in the last two. Should be definite wins for United, but you never know. Yeah. You never know in today's football society. So yeah, we must find the points that we've dropped from now until the end of the season. And that will be difficult under the same old regime. It needed to change. We got the win against Villarreal. And the biggest positive for me was that Jadon Sancho got his first goal. So happy for that. And hopefully he can kick on now, get better and better as a player. Yeah, let's have some patience. Mm. The performance was lacking. That's one thing I was saying. Like, that was a positive in Sancho and stuff like that. But the performance was still lacking. And we can't forget that. I know we were all happy because we just won a game. And of course we can be happy. But now, with a couple of days to reflect, you have to realise that was actually a bad performance. And we got bailed out. That um, move for the Sancho goal, that was good. Yeah. But that was it. The, the Ronaldo goal was a mistake by them. Good tracking down by Fred. Have to give him the credit. But that was a lucky goal. So, you know, defensively, we still got exposed. And if it wasn't from saves from David De Gea, and them not being clinical, it would have been a different result. So, you know, still struggling in possession, which is not good enough for a Manchester United team. And hopefully, that's something that Ralph Ragnick can kind of clear up. Because in possession... For the last, well, I would say, two seasons, we have been absolutely terrible. Maybe three? Maybe. I mean, look. It, it, you know, possession, it breaks up way too easily. It's almost like these guys don't train on passing the ball. They just, I don't know what it has been going on on their training pitch for the last couple of years. But hopefully it all has to change soon. And all the things I've mentioned, like I said, are reflections of how we've been playing under the previous manager and coaching staff. One thing I will finally say is that things will not change overnight under Ragnar. Players will need to change their conditioning methods. Oh, they do. They will need to be naturally fitter. You know, passing will have to be worked on. For sure. <laughs> Yeah, Boy. different shapes in and out of possession, transitions from defense to attack. So many things to work on almost halfway through the season. It's going to be a difficult task and I think Jurgen Klopp alluded to that. You know, in English football, you don't get that break. Mm. So now you have to keep on pushing and pushing and pushing on and hoping that the team just gels, clicks to it, clicks to your plans. So, 
it is going to be a difficult time. But for me, with the role that he will get after this six months, Ralph Ragnick will have the chance to implement a set playing style and identity that can run through the whole club. That should be the reason why United are hiring him. Not just to be the manager to steady the ship, but also to rebuild a broken island. Oh, 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 CM, 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 <laughs> Woo! Ralph Ragnick, heavy metal, stainless steel football in the cup. That <laughs> feels good. Manchester United actually making a decision that will positively affect the long term status of the club. Not on the stock market. Well, Maybe a little bit, but directly on the football pitch. I'm gonna be real. Before this commotion, I didn't even know much about Ragnik. I can't lie. <laughs> but from the things I've heard, he's perfectly suited for his club. In the end of the day, nothing happens more than the results. Nothing matters more than the results. That's what has always mattered to us. This club has been built up over the years to win and we cannot sway away from that never i know you're gonna come out in with that calm down and let's just see how it works out business but no cm let me be great let us be great let manchester united be great the old era's time is up ralph's time is now and when everything goes to plan, we will both be sitting here and laughing. And you will be calling me a genius for travelling into a different dimension like Doctor Who and finding out how things are really going to work out. Hmm. This man will change everything for us, CM. But now, we stay composed, we stay blessed, no stress, all part all power to the most high let him deliver the results come and talk right now chelsea on chelsea today man or, or tomorrow because we're recording this late on saturday man i even spoke about the game once it's a peak one still they're in hot form it's a mazarine but hey we got the new manager bounce even though carrie's gonna be in the gantry for that one yeah, Carrie's gonna be there for that one, but still, we, we, we got the bounce because them man know who's looking, they know who's watching. Ralph's watching, you know? Yeah. And he can make decisions like that. Final setting, click you away, get you out of this club. Deadwood setting. It is inevitable. After such a long time and a quick change that everything will take some time, and I can accept that. But when it starts to click, we are going to be a force. We're talking hailstones, snow, wind, and thunder. Nobody will try to stop this, and nobody can stop this. Just look and observe in fear. Woo! Who gives this guy a script? Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rape you, if you pass through M's in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.